To me, he's giving me very parrot safari. I see what he was trying to do. Oh, I want all my clothes designer. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Don Marie here, and today's video is going to be me rating your favorite YouTubers Coachella outfits. I've honestly never been to Coachella, but I've been to an event before. It was a rave, it was Beyond Wonderland. That was like two something plus years ago, I don't know. Today I'm going to be rating all of your favorite YouTubers Coachella outfits. Not all of them, but the ones that I really know and watch. If you didn't make the cut, I'm sorry. And if I didn't rate you one of your favorite YouTubers, I'm sorry as well. I just wanted to make this video in celebration of Coachella Day 1. I'm just super excited to see all the outfits, just everything that my favorite YouTubers are wearing. I know that Alyssa Violet didn't go to Coachella this first weekend. I don't know if she's going in all this year. Shane Dawson and Rylan Adams, they were soon to be Dawson or Adams. I'm not sure. They didn't go to Coachella either. I don't know if Morgan did. I don't know if Jenna Marbles and Julian went either. I'm really sad about it because I wish they were in this video because I love them so much. However, we're going to work with what we got today and I hope you guys really, really love it. Usually Denzel Dion does these kind of videos. Bitch, he's at Coachella this year. I mean, who else is going to make this video? I mean, I might as well, you know, step in and do it. Oh, the first picture that I have here is the vlog squad. Literally, I fucking love that they all matched their outfits. The only one that is not wearing sweats, the only one that I can clearly see is Scott. Oh my goodness, but everything is just so bomb. I love that they did this black and yellow vibe. It just looks so fresh, it looks fly. Some of them are wearing hoodies, some of them are wearing tees. But I love how the vlog squad goes down the thigh and all the way down the side, and it's just so freaking bomb. And I bet those sweaters are so comfortable and warm. I bet they are. Honestly, that's like the first time I'm seeing David Dobrik's feet. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Do I have a foot fetish? No, I don't think so. All of them look really, really good. I thought they were done with Dominic because I haven't seen him in any of the like vlogs recently. But maybe I'm just not up to date, so who knows? Jeff, hi daddy, you look so good, oh my goodness. I did see the video with Zane and Matt dyeing their hair blonde for Coachella, so I knew that was gonna be a thing. They look fresh as fuck, and I'm glad they took a picture together. They get an A plus for me. I think it's really creative, because no one else is gonna come as a whole squad like that. I mean, but it's kind of what you expect from a, the vlog squad. Like, they're gonna do something like this. They're gonna be all matchy-matchy. Next, we have my bitch, Emma Chamberlain. Yes, honey. I'm sorry if I butchered the shit out of your last name, babe. I'm so sorry, everyone. Just don't come for me. Don't come for me, okay? I really get confused on how to pronounce her last name, but bitch, you look so good. The glasses, bitch, you are so fly, yes. I love when Emma does her makeup because she hardly wears makeup unless it's for something super serious. Obviously, she wasn't playing because I saw her getting ready for a Coachella vlog right before making this video. Bitch, you just look so good, yes. A plus on the hair. I love the bol the bollies she put inside her head. I love that she didn't do too much with her hair because obviously it's gonna be hot as hell and Palm Desert and at Coachella, hello. And that shirt, honey, yes, serving me under boob, bitch, yes. I love how it ties by the breast, then on the rib cage, and then almost like right above the belly button. So cute. I'm loving that her necklace and her belt like sort of match, or they do match. I'm not too sure, but I think they do match. It's so cute. It just ties it all together. And then like, you know, the silver little sparkles on the glasses just ties in together so good. I'm living for these pants, girl, with you know, the alien looking faces. I'm not sure if those are aliens. Let me know what y'all think. With the body, with the boob. I wish that I could see her shoes. She looks really good. Like, I love Emma. Girl, you're so cute. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to see what you have next. Oh my gosh! I love the Dolan twins so much. I know that they made a video going shopping for each other's Coachella outfits. I did not get to it. Don't come for me. I am going to get to that video right after making this one because, um, hello, they lo are looking like fucking snacks. You can tell they were really working out and getting ripped as fuck for Coachella because those arms, like, 
Ethan, damn, Grace and Dan. I love how they're twins and they have a completely different sense of style, but they have one item that kind of ties in with another item on each other's outfits. Ethan is wearing Louis Vuitton print pants and Grayson is wearing a gray Louis Vuitton belt. I'm loving this teal thing that Grayson has above his black tank. I love it. Instead of a fanny pack, you know, he is wearing this thing, which I don't know the name of. Can you guys please fill a bitch in? Because I'm lost. I'm loving the black on black and the shoes, yes. He wore the right shoes for Coachella because people are going to be stomping on those. Ethan's outfit, yes, I'm living for the cut and then the low cut right here under his armpit. The studded shoes, yes. I don't know what kind of shoes those are, but I did see Jeffree Star rock a pair of these before and they were Christian Louboutin. Overall, this outfit is bomb. I love that they didn't do too much with it. You know, it looks very masculine, very clean, and like they're not going to get too fucking hot and overheat at Coachella. Jake Paul. Jake Paul always has to have like make a scene like he always has to have girls around him to like prove a point like we get it you're cute we get it you got money we get it we get it okay. To me he's giving me very parrot safari. I see what he was trying to do. I personally don't really like it. I think he was trying to do a little too much with it. The shoes are cute. I really like the shoes. That handpiece doesn't match with what you're wearing. The bag is cute. I like the bag. I wish I could see a close up of it. The visor thing, um, who wears those anymore, really? He's sexy as hell though. He's really sexy, but I'm not I'm not taking what he's serving me. Mario Salmon. He is giving me cowboy realness. I'm loving the checkered print on the inside of the jacket. I wonder if the pants have that same checkered print on the inside. Whoever styled this, it looks really good. I really like the belt, how it ties in as well. And the little pouch here, it looks like a little phone carrier. That's convenient for when you're at Coachella because you know you'd be carrying money, your credit cards, debit cards, your phone, and whatever else you receive from Coachella, little you know trinkets and things, necessities that you carry around. The glasses are a fuck yes, I'm loving the ombre. The shoes are a fuck yes, I love, love, love those boots. I think those are Doc Martens. Yes, go the fuck off Mario, bitch. Yes, yeehaw, nigga, shit. Although, I have to admit, it looks like you're going to be sweating balls. It's worth it for the look, honey. It's worth it for the look. Sheila, hey mama, how are you? Girl, you're looking just so good. I'm loving the hair. I'm loving the little jewels you put in your hair. So cute. I'm loving the simple makeup. It just looks so good. The jewelry, the rings, everything is just tying in with this two-piece she has on. I'm not sure, but a lot of girls have been sponsored by Revolve. It's a clothing company. I'm not sure if that's what she's wearing, but it's really, really cute. I really believe that she could have worn a different lipstick color, but that could be my own biased opinion because I don't really like orange. Overall, the outfit is super cute. It looks like she's going to stay cool at Coachella. I really, really love it, but the lipstick is a no for me, I would have probably went with like, you know, a gloss over like something nude or, you know, something more on the nude side or something more pink undertone. The hair is amazing. What, what lace girl? Wet lace. Her body's looking snatched to the gods, Tila. Yes. Next we have Ricky Dillon and he's serving us just about to go to the skate park realness. This outfit is so on brand for Ricky Dillon. He's so simple. He's just doing his own thing. He doesn't want to do the most, but he wants to be like, hey, I'm here as well. I love it, especially for a guy who's gay, but also in between being feminine and masculine. Like, Ricky, go off. Like, I'm loving this. You look fresh. You look stylish. I'm loving the kicks. I'm loving the pants, or should I say the shants. So cute. I love how they're distressed. The backpack, ties in with your outfit, just so cute. Loving the button up you put over the teal shirt. The scarf, just so old school. I love it, Ricky. Nikita fucking dragon. Woo woo. Yes, bitch, you look so good. First of all, the wig, everything, the color, everything, yes. And I'm loving how the bottom of the hair is green and it matches the outfit she's wearing, just so bomb. Latex bomb just so bomb making a fucking statement bitch as always but what do we expect from nikita like 
she's the slay queen i'm loving this chanel two-piece that she's wearing i wonder if the sleeves are connected to the top i think they are there's not much i can say like her jewelry is on point i think i see like a few braids in her hair yeah those are braids she looks really really good and her makeup i did oversee for an instagram story i think it was an instagram story on bretman's story saying like uh oh, waiting for nikita i'm fucking drunk or something like that i take long to get ready too because all this doesn't happen within minutes honey like, you look so good and the effort you put in mama you look good only thing i would say is bitch you're gonna be sweating because it's hot as fuck in palm springs that's latex that's that's plastic so that's gonna be stuck to your skin so if you're you're down to stay with that on for you know however many hours then you do you mama but you're slaying you're fucking killing it another thing the shoes she's wearing are cute but i do not think that they are for Coachella. I mean, go the fuck off, sis. But, I mean, your feet are gonna hurt, girl. What I understand, Coachella is, you know, all up in dirt and, you know, grass and stuff. So, those heels are gonna be sinking. Unless you're staying in a VIP section where there's pavement. I don't know how what you're doing, sis. But, I mean, go the fuck off. Next is Brad Sosa, Tana Mojo's Boo Boo. I'm absolutely loving what he has on. The smiley faces, on the satin you know shorts and the satin top just looks so good he looks like a fucking pimp daddy you can tell that tana styled him you can definitely tell that tana styled him um the fuck through i'm loving the bandana it's so good so fresh the undershirt is very fresh very clean i hate when people wear faded ass different color black if you're gonna wear all black make sure all the blacks are the same color bitch please it's not a look when it's two different shades please Come on. He has on a simple black shoe. Yes, I'm looking for the spikes on the bag. That's really cute. It ties in with the jewelry. So, so punk. It's giving me punk. It's giving me just, ugh, just everything that I need. He really went the fuck off for Coachella. Glasses just look so bomb. I'm loving it. The queen herself, Tana fucking Mojo. Now, I know you guys can't see her top. Her bottoms are, she's serving us assless chaps. Like, I'm living for it. Come through, assless chop. Those boots, they look like they're from Dolls Kill, because I only see unique shit like that in Dolls Kill. I'm living for the boots and that design on the back. I've never seen that, but it looks really bomb. Shorts, I'm really loving it. It's giving me slutty cow bitch realness. Like, I'm loving it. Her hair, you can't see any of her extensions. So, um, that's not a drag, it's just the truth, Hannah. Like, usually, your tracks were showing, you're known for that, it's very your brand. They're not showing, and you look so good, mama, work. Fuck it up, thick. Come through natural ass. I mean, I don't know how much of it's natural, but go the fuck off, sis. I love it. The rating outfit king himself, dun dun dun, Denzel Dion. You're giving me TLC realness. Like, all of three of them show the fuck up and shut it the fuck down. I'm loving how Denzel is wearing different colored denims, but it just ties in together. The bag with the, you know, two holes going over. Oh my God, it's so old school. It's serving me everything I fucking need. How he put the socks over the shoes. I don't really like that too much. I don't really like it, but I mean, what do I know about fashion? His sister's outfit. Yes, I'm living for the short fucking hair. Yes, bitch. Great idea for Coachella. Girl, I know how the back of that wig be sticking to the back of the neck, honey. And it's just not a good look and you'll have to really comb your shit the fuck out and it won't be good. Overall, I'm loving the Von Dutch purse, honey. Yes, and the see-through top. You can see the bra through, honey. Yes, for the mesh. I'm really, really living. Like, she fucking did that in those red glasses. Perfect. Couldn't be any better. As for Ricky, yes, he. This is just. This is just Ricky. Like this is what you'll see Ricky walking down the street on a casual day at Walmart picking up school supplies. This is Ricky. Like honestly, I just love everything because it just screen. It goes with him. It looks like he made that shirt himself, or like you know how people used to go take their shirts to get like little spray painted designs on them like where it looks like your shirt got tagged. I'm living for all of you guys' outfits. I know y'all feet probably gonna be sweaty after this event. Yes, go the fuck off, I'm living for it. Denzel's hair, honey, yes. I've never seen Denzel with a different hairstyle, so this this is new for me. Next, we have the one and only sister, James Charles. First of all, bitch, yes, I am living for those fucking 
Sparkle Swarovski leggings. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. How they are glistening. I know he used Kira Kira for this. He definitely used Kira Kira for this. You ain't tricking nobody. I'm loving the shoes he put with this. So bomb. Everyone's going with a boot, which is smart because people are going to be stepping all over your fucking feet. So really smart. You're going to be walking a lot. Go for something that's, you know, accessible and you can walk around in long distances for a long amount of time. I'm really, really, really loving this top he has on. It's giving me like combat bitch, like yes for the mesh matching the pants at the bottom. I love how it's like cut off and then it's like continuing. That's reminding me of like Corella DeVille where she wears like, you know, half gloves that go up to her elbow. I'm really loving the belts where it has the loop hanging too and girl that tuck game is strong girl I know a lot about a tuck and honey that tuck game is strong we don't want no goodies popping out they got to pay for that send them to your OnlyFans account so you can get a check boo overall outfit is bomb you know he's able to breathe in this outfit too because you know he's wearing mesh leggings everything is open and breathable and still glam because of course it's James Charles that was everybody that I have for today those are the only people that I know about that I really really like that went to Coachella this year so if I missed you I'm sorry I really really am these outfits are slaying I can't wait to see what you guys have for day two oh the fuck off you guys yes like these outfits are killer like yes except for a few but you know it's all good. This video is just for fun. I'm not at Coachella and I'm a bit jealous, but you know, we're staying in the spirit by making a video like this. For my subscribers who are also not at Coachella, I'm glad that I can make a video like this for you guys to get a little glimpse of what everyone's wearing and whatnot if you're not really that big into social media. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. For the visitors who are always visiting but not subscribing, you might as well subscribe because you're always here might as well subscribe. Leave your comments down in the comment box below to let me know what your favorite outfits were and what you think they could have changed or if they were absolutely perfect and you would change nothing. Follow all of my social medias. They'll be down in the description box below. Have a good night or day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.